She was built in 1946 and she's the last one of her kind um, still floating in the area and she's on the register of ships of national historic importance um, so it felt important to preserve her really and also important to let people come on and, and see it. It's a massive surprise when people come down the stairs and everyone says, oh, it's so much bigger on the inside. Yeah, it's just really nice for people to be able to enjoy the space, really. We, we've had the boat for about 10 years um, and to begin with, we lived on it. Um, but once our children left home, it was a little bigger than we needed. And we've both always loved reading. I used to work in a library. Um, um, I think there's just something about bookshops that are more special than clothes shops or shoe shops or any other shop, really. So we kind of thought that would be a really nice way to use the space. Vicky's like chief book um, finder. And I think she's, so far, she's done a really good job of getting books that are, are interesting and, and that people are, are commenting on on the, the nice selection of, of not just new books, because most bookshops have one or the other, or they might have a couple of used books, but we've actually got, you know, a massive chunk of both. You know, you've read a book once, um, it can be read sort of 10, 15, 20 more times. There's no need for it to, to be put in the bin, you know, and it's good to find a way of repurposing those books and putting them back out there so the story can be enjoyed again and again. If I can promote more greenery through getting some good, reasonably priced plants <laughs> sold to all the people who live nearby, then that's that's a, a great thing as well. Someone is actually using this boat next week to propose to their girlfriend of five years. Uh, they live in one of the flats and they've been looking down and she really likes this boat, she's a big reader. It's really nice when things like that happen because you realise how much you matter to other people and how much this boat matters to other people who live here. I think people associate um, wood fires with cosiness. We have a late, late night on a Thursday and people come in and play chess and, and sit for perhaps a bit longer and read and things like that. And I think they've really, over the winter, they've really appreciated coming in and seeing the fire and kind of snuggling up for a nice cosy 10 minutes. It's, yeah, it's, it's really good. Because we're at ground level, there's flats all the way up and anything we send up the chimney is going up, you know, and it's kind of a shared space in the middle of the city. So it feels irresponsible to burn anything really that isn't um, environmentally sound. And we find that the compressed wood is much cleaner it's much, much cleaner. Uh, when you have coal in your boat, it's just filthy. Everything is filthy. Every surface is dusty and dirty. And with that, you just don't get that. Um, it is much better. I think it's important to a lot of young people now as well. I think more, more and more young people are more bothered about the environment than I ever was when, when we was young. You spend your money on daft stuff, don't you? So you may as well try and spend it as wisely as you possibly can when it comes to stuff that you're using every day that affects other people.